Hello and welcome to episode 36 of the Smash Ultimate Mod Workshop. This episode is about a topic I've actually shown a lot of examples of previously, such as in episodes 10, 11, 12, 31, and 35. Having a good knowledge of status kinds is crucial to understanding how to make good code mods. A status kind you can think of as essentially a unique number that's stored with a lot of other data in a fighter. You can only have one status kind at a time. It can change, and it does so frequently. A status kind is, at the end of the day, just the move that a character is currently doing. There's a status kind for every attack. There's some for running, jumping, uh, when you're in a hit lag, if you're buried, stunned, grabbing, being grabbed, falling, special falling, shielding, being in ice, being dead, winning, losing. The list goes on and on. With status kinds, you can pretty much check for, or transition into, any action in the game. Characters can have their specific statuses too. Most specials have extra character specific statuses tied to them, and this is where status scripts come in. They're just the code that's ran when a character is in a specific status. To put it all together, I'm currently in the wait status. The wait status is set to, every once in a while, play a random idle animation, and it checks for all your button presses, and then transitions you into the proper status. When I press A, it takes me into the attack status, which is set to run the game effect sound and expression scripts for Jab. It'll play the animation, and then transition me back into the wait status once the animation's over. Unless, of course, it sees that I've pressed A again, and then it'll transition me into the Jab 2 animation and run all of its corresponding scripts. If I press A again, it goes into Rapid Jab. Let's take it a step back and just make an example using status kinds. Here's a global fighter frame that checks if the player is currently in the Attack High 4 Hold status, which is for charging an up smash. It also checks if the player is pressing the jump button. If they are, it transitions into the jump status. Let's see it in action. If I'm charging an up smash and I press jump, Wow, I just jumped out of Charging Up Smash. As usual, all the code that I just wrote will be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!